is I think we're seeing, we've all talked a lot how unpopular both of these candidates were, how high their dislikeability dis was, and how untrusted they both were. What it looks like has developed is that they, voters would rather go with a flawed outsider than a flawed insider. That seems to be their decision. They know that Donald Trump's flawed, they know he isn't temperamentally ready to be president, but instead of going somebody they didn't like as the insider, they went with the outsider. And Tom Yamas, let me bring this question to you. You spent a lot of time with the Trump campaign. How much thought have they put into what he would do as president? How prepared are they for this tradition and to take over, transitioning to take over? You know, he had Chris Christie, Governor Chris Christie from New Jersey, who was heading up his transition team. Governor Christie obviously had a, a lot of news he was dealing with in the last two weeks. It's unclear how far he got on that. But he did have a core group of supporters that included Mayor Giuliani, Giuliani Chris Christie, Donald Trump, of course, himself. And, and others that were with him to the end, Governor Mike Pence, his running mate, who's always with him, Senator Jeff Sessions. So we'll see how that cabinet could possibly shake out. But to be completely honest, I don't know if they thought that far into the future because they were so focused on winning this race. Another quick update from inside that war room. They're now high-fiving each other, Trump family members with the staff. It, 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 it looks like they're almost celebrating a victory tonight. On the preparing for the what comes next front, I mean, we were joking, the press corps that covers her, that they had essentially started measuring the drapes. Let's just 